we are out here at the property that we just put an offer on and um, we're gonna walk the boundary line and look how beautiful this place is we've been looking at it for what over a year now yeah and finally just got tired of looking and nothing being as nice as this and we just uh bit the bullet exciting Yes, it is exciting. Our goal today is to walk the fence line and um, kind of make a note of any holes in the fence, any repair work that needs done, and just kind of get a better lay of the land. We were here this summer with my parents in, what was it, July? Yeah. That was the last time we've been out here. <laughs> and we wrote another offer on it based off of our memory from July. So uh, here we go. <laughs> See the big horns on the distance. It's pretty. So we're looking at putting the shoot house. You can see where the truck is parked now. It's a driveway, if you want to call it that, the road comes up and it loops through here and there's a really nice flat grassy spot right there. And the power is right nearby it. And I was thinking we'd put the shoot house there because we have to 1100 yards of shooting from that location and then if we want to shoot 1400 yards we can just pop back a few hundred yards and shoot 1400 but that way with the shoot house in this location we're off the road the driveway is already in place and the power is um, adjacent to where the shoot house would go and be really affordable to run it over to the container so I think it's a good spot I'm very this place is so perfect. It's, yeah, very excited. We'll be able to scatter targets all over through this gorge. It's spectacular habitat for mule deer. It's just beautiful. And hide some targets in trees and be able to do like little mock hunting. And then also we want to put a 3D archery range in here um, that we can walk in the evenings and um, get some angled shooting up and downhill at different distances and have kind of a fun 3D path in here as well. Look at all the does on the horizon. We just jumped them out of the bed. We were just talking about how there should be like bobcats and mountain lions in here because of all these coolies and rock outcroppings and here we spotted this fresh bobcat track right here. about coming up here is there is a side-by-side -side road that comes all the way up here and um, makes everything so accessible which is why we had kind of wanted to build a house up here because you can see it's like a totally flat building site but um, personally I'm a little bit nervous about having a mile long driveway so as of right now this is not an option for a building site and we'll just have to see how the winters go out here before we make anything too drastic decision wise, but oh my gosh, look how beautiful this is. This is where we were elk hunting this year. We live here and it is, it is unbelievable. Just like pinch me. Beautiful, beautiful. We're looking at um, this old gravel pit here, possibly being a uh, good prospect for a pistol range. So I want to walk down there and take a look at the access and then um, the yardage and whatnot. So. scared when my wife is driving. You should be. I have more tickets than you. Rolling 
back into town. Out here at the Tifts, and Yogi is gonna meet the baby mules for the first time. What do I have in my face? Fuzz. 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 Like, let's, go see let's go do this. Look at the big arms. Hi, babies. Hi. Look at what Piggly Wigglies you girls are. Come in, Yogi. Hello, baby girls. Say hi to Yogi. Yogi, that's Lynx. And this is Lexi. Oh, they were fuzzy yeah. Oh, you don't like me. Uh, I don't blame her. Why? Aww. <laughs> Isn't she so cute? She cute brown muzzle on her, eh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, hi, baby girl. Hi. <laughs> what do you think of your new baby mules? Yay, can I ride them? <laughs> yeah, right. You have to watch this one, she bites. Mm, she is naughty. She's still a little hesitant. Well, you probably smell like meat stick too. Oh. <laughs> She's so sweet. Hello, baby. She has the tiniest face. <laughs> Yogi is training baby Lynx. <laughs> Gosh. Hey, she doesn't like it. <laughs> Lexi is mad. She's tied up and she is upset. Yeah, she's going to have herself a fit. Yogi the mule trainer. Oh, mad. Oh, hers mad. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah. She's smart. See. <laughs> Good girl. But they had to learn all this stuff. This one is going to be a handful today. Huh, you had to learn all this stuff, huh? Don't you think about that. Oh. I try to keep it when I put it over her head very fast. Oh, it's scary. Oh, it's scary. So she gets a quicker reward because she doesn't like it. Look at <laughs> Look at you guys going through the pool noodles. Good girl. You're naughty. You a little baby. Yeah. So what do you think about the baby mules? I'm a little disappointed that I wasn't allowed to ride them today. <laughs> They're very cute. They did a pretty good job, huh? Yeah. No, they're very behaved, apart from when they're tied up by themselves. Well, that was just Lexi today because she was being naughty. Yeah. Pretty spectacular. Yogi and I are getting ready to go to the property that we're working on buying. This is honestly the first time that we have both been home since Hunter Christmas. He was home for two whole days 
between Thanksgiving and now. So we're both home. And the property is a half hour from our house. And yesterday, you got hangry. So guess what? Bowie, you wanna go? Huh? My favorite kind of day. Aunt's a family field trip day. Today, we're gonna walk the second 80 acres, or actually the second portion of the property, which is 80 acres. And it's a little over two miles. Yesterday we did 2.7 miles. And we left the dogs behind because uh, Kruger's a little crippled up from yesterday and Zoe has tiny legs. So they'll get to hang out with us when we shoot bows after we're done walking. Dang. That's really beautiful. Ground a little snowy still. That's okay. Do you know what that means? No rattlesnakes. <laughs> Thank God. Little deer on the horizon there. Watching us hike around. Yugi just saw something suspect in his binoculars. So he's walking over. He thinks it's an antelope skull. What is it? Pronghorn skull. Huh. A little baby antelope. It's Zoe's first time at the new house. Oh, yeah, she's sinking. Hi, Brown. <laughs> We're going to break in the new property. We're going to shoot our bows today. And uh, the dogs helped me set the target. And Kruger's over there pooping. Nice. Nice. That's great. Candid capture on video. Can't take these things anywhere. Zoe can barely get around. She's struggling with life. Okay. Come on, Zoe. Dogs. When was the last time you shot your bow, Yogi? Mm, October? Maybe? It's been a while for us. <laughs> <laughs> That's bad. He's always trying to be a downrange diva. Don't even think about it, little dog. Good girl. Look at her trained. Shooting at center? Yeah. Oh boy. <sighs> Way high. I won't judge. Mm. No judgment. Touching. All right. Oh boy. Show us what you got. It's not going to be impressive, so don't uh, don't get too excited. There you go. Just a little right of center. Yeah. Height, okay. height wise, good though. Height's good. Just about an inch right of center. Yeah, center. just below. Just a little lower center now. Oh. Bullseye. Mm. 
We all walk together as a family to pull arrows. Yeah, if they actually did that. <laughs> okay, Yogi, so you did good. You got one bullseye. One pretty much in. Yeah. yeah. Everything but I was doing was a little low. Here. And then that last one I had a little high. Yeah. And then I shot a little high, so I think uh -huh. I'm just a little out of practice. Come on. Come on, Zoe. Where'd you hit? On the white ring there. Let's talk about that. About what? Your arm kiss. Yeah. That was my wife this morning when I woke up. I had a hickey. <laughs> right. This is the React One digital site, and I haven't charged this thing since my archery whitetail hunt in November. Still full charge. And uh, I love this site. Like, it takes the guesswork out of everything. Looks like a bullseye. I'm gonna I don't know. I'm, I'm looking at the camera. Yeah. I'm going to say 100% that was a bullseye. <laughs> Yogi, good job. <laughs> what a nice day today. Mm -hmm. It's like no wind, no wind, like not an ounce of wind. And the sun is warm, and we're gonna get eight inches of snow in two days, <laughs> so we have to enjoy this while we can. Yeah. Mm. Yogi loves the dogs. This is his favorite time of day right now. He's hanging out with the dogs. <laughs> Especially that one. He loves that dog. <laughs> mm, she's only 15. It's fine. Yogi had enough baby mule yesterday, so I came out by myself. Hi, little baby mules. These cute little faces. I'm just gonna love you two so much today. Yes. Little Lynx is loose. Not that she cares about the ball. I don't care about the ball. Nothing. Oh, good girl. Oh, her stepped right over it, which is good. Good. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Little Lynx here has an issue with walking in a circle. So we've been working on this for a while now watch all the progress she's made. She'll actually make a full circle. Ready to show them? Ready to do this? She's never seen these before. So I'm gonna hold on to her for this part. Let's show everybody how much you're gonna like getting your hair cut. Well, it'd help if they worked, huh? Thanks, Yogi, for your crappy clippers. He says, oh yeah, take these little black ones. I can see why now.
Don't tell him I spit on him. Baby Mule's like, what in the ever-loving God is going on here? Oh, here we go. Spit works for everything. Baby Mule's first haircut. It's not really a haircut, we're faking it. What a good girl. What a good baby. I thought this was... Let me show you what I've got going on over here. Lexi is raging angry over there. She's crying, she's rearing, she is a very naughty baby mule. Lexi thinks she is a racehorse, where Lynx is very donkey-like, and I can barely get her to walk. You guys are about to see Miss Lexi because she'll be bucking, and she will run. Where did the turkeys cr fly across the road? To roost in the tree! <laughs> Look at that thing, that's so awesome!